Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Roman for Strength by Doing. Um, just haven't made a few, haven't made a video in a couple of days. Um, we're working at the other data center. But uh, what I want to talk about it really pertains more towards artists. Uh, it's called basically staying true to your passion. And, and I really can go in a lot of different directions, but the really the main thing that comes up to my head right now is you know art, artistry, and you know either art, music, you know wh whichever you prefer. You know, it's a written art as well. Um, but the thing is that when when you get into art and you really have a passion for it, say you love to draw or sculpt or dance or you know write, sing, you know perform in any way. It's, I mean, in art school it's 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 really difficult when you uh, think about all the different types of art artistry that are out there, and you don't want to leave anybody out. But uh, the thing is that like you, you get into that because you love it, and, and that's great. And you really should love it if it really is your passion, something that you really, really enjoy doing, and something that you would do for free if you could. Um, if you could just not ever have to worry about money and you do it for free, that'd be great. Um, but the thing is that, like a lot of people, I mean, we live in a world where everything's money related, unfortunately. But um, like some people, they start taking jobs that that uh, seem to just always require them to be almost just become just drones working on the same thing every day or you know churning out the same type of thing every single day they're never really given a chance to really um express themselves the way they were or would have if they would you know the reason why they got into their passion their their art um that goes into you know people can always do contracts and it's always great oh here's somebody walking down there <laughs> but the thing is that like People get into their uh, contracts and stuff, and that's good. I mean, you get some money, money in their pockets. But uh, when it comes down to is this guy walking this way, no, walking away. <laughs> when it comes down to just, um, just like w when you're doing that every day, and you're, you're no longer really being expressive, and you're not really being able to be creative anymore, then you might want to look into something else, um, or at least find more free time to be able to actually do the thing that you enjoy to do. Um, Instead of making it just your job and that's all you do, if you if you dread uh, your art after a while, then it no longer becomes your passion. It becomes the thing that you have to do to get by. Even if you're really good at it, I mean, it could be something that you're great at, but you just dread it every single day. Um, but you know, stay true to yourself. I mean, realize that when you don't want to do something that that is related to your art, say you're a sculptor and you love making uh, abstract looking pieces, but somebody wants you to make a specific item. I mean, that's great, but if you if you get stuck in always making those things for other people, you're, you're gonna end up hating doing that. So um, always, makes, uh, always make room in your life for your creativity. And that comes down to people that you know do everyday jobs. I work on computers all the time, but the thing is that I still like to do my own things. I like to stay active. I like to stay physically active and you know, just express myself on, on the outside. I mean, outside of work. Um, I might get back into art, but I mean, I just don't have as much time as I used to. I do a lot of reading and stuff, but I mean, I, I stay true to who I am. I don't like to let people really control my ideas too much. I, I, I put in some of their ideas if, if I think they're worth it, but the thing is that I really try to stay true to myself, and who I am and where I want to go. So uh, take that for whatever it's worth. Um, follow me at strengthbydoing.com. Um, Facebook.com slash strength by doing and Twitter at strength by doing. Alright, take care guys.